Maggie Barry. I rise to speak against the Crown Minerals Protection of Public Conservation Land listed in the full schedule amendment bill uh, for much the same reads as, as my colleagues. I don't see that there's any need for new laws. The bill is unnecessary. This one, uh, the, the legislation that we have currently uh, covers covers the concerns of New Zealanders adequately, and that was proven uh, when we listened last year. It's been proven time and again when the public speak, we listen, uh, we, we use the existing legislation well, and there is no need for this bill. Uh, I, I, I would imagine that uh, there are some small amendments that can be made. We look at some of the things that we are doing at the moment with the Crown Minerals Act. Um, it provides sufficient safeguards for Schedule 4 land but we are looking at fine-tuning aspects, and I think that along with our overall commitment to develop resources while protecting the environment, uh, the, the regime which we're reviewing under the Crown Minerals Act, which is uh, over 20 years old and does need a, a bit of a tweak, uh, that will ensure that we continue to balance economic benefits of exploration with the safety and environmental concerns. Uh, there are places in New Zealand uh, that need careful and considered exploration. I look at Pike River, and I see that the Pike River 29 may not be the only casualties. The economy of the West Coast will be if we don't have the fortitude to look carefully at what we have. And um, while I appreciate that the Greens and to a certain extent Labour as well don't really want to go too much further into mineral exploration, uh, the West Coast and other parts of New Zealand deserve to be given the opportunity to look at what they have and to use the resources that they have to continue to keep their young people there and to keep the skills within their communities and environments. So I would urge that we don't do blanket bans and uh, really shut down the prospects that we have for mineral exploration. And I think prospecting and looking at these things is what is required. Uh, adding in unnecessary laws does no good at all. Uh, Section 61.5 does require a public consultation before any order in council is made to add or remove land. These things work. Adequate consultation. This has worked in the past and it will work again. Have faith in democracy and the ability of some politicians and political parties, Mr O'Rourke, to listen to what the people say because that's what we do and that's why we're back in Parliament for a second term. So that's part of the lesson that you could learn here coming in uh, in the party that you have. Uh, our consultation process has been effective and will continue to be so, uh, and I think that we've proved that time and again, democracy at work. So when we look at what uh, happens in the Act, Act uh, that prevents land that is classified as an ecological area or islands in the Mercury Island Group, for example, from being removed from Schedule 4 through an order in Council. These are precious places. These need to be protected, and they are adequately protected. Uh, our party, National, is making great progress in improving energy and mineral resources regulation. There are a raft of things, uh, uh, the exclusive economic zone and the continental shelf, the environmental effects bill, which is currently before the House and through Select Committee, one of the Select Committees I sit on. It is, it is an important environmental regime. The robust process that goes through at Select Committee level ensures that the legislation that comes before this House is actually able to do the job it is designed to do. The High Hazards Unit, which we established within the Department of Labor, is another excellent uh, device. It's a dedicated unit of inspectors, which oversees and regulates health and safety practices on oil and gas platforms, and as well as that in geothermal installations, mines, tunnels, and quarries. These are measures that we have brought in that are doing the job and doing it well, unlike this proposed bill. And after the 2010 consultation on Schedule 4, we did decide that all the national parks and the other types of high conservation value lands which are listed there will remain protected from mining. We've said that, we're sticking to it, and we listen to people. And I think the public consultation process is very adequate, and I don't think we need this bill. I think it is unnecessary, and that's why I speak against it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Grant Robertson. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Just a wonder.